All right, guys, let's move on uh, to the tip of the week. Now that the Embedly update is pushed, we're super excited about this. It definitely goes hand in hand with our goal of creating a more data portability and more integrations into the BD platform, being able to embed content more easily into your web pages and posts definitely goes along with that. So uh, David has created some amazing use case examples of how you can imagine uh, Embedly working on your website. So if it's okay with you, David, may I pass things over? Absolutely. As Jason mentioned, it's a pretty straightforward tip of the week here that we have this time around. But first, let's quickly go over what Embedly is. It's a third-party tool and service that lets you really easily add rich and in some cases interactive media to both your web pages as well as your posts from over 700 sources or what Embedly calls providers. And they are updating that constantly and adding more sources. This really does allow you to add more of a uh, resource hub feel to your website in order to distribute more information to your members and your website visitors. Uh, and one of the biggest benefits to using Embedly is one, it's completely free. You don't need to pay for it or sign up for an account with them. But two, you can embed content from pretty much anywhere online without having to dig and try to find an embed code going into the uh, code view of the web page or the post editor or anything like that. You just copy the URL of the piece of content you want to embed and open up the uh, Embedly tool within the text editor, paste in the URL, and that's it. So we'll go through uh, some use cases and, and show how this is all done, but it's all very straightforward and Embedly takes care of all of the embedding aspect of the content uh, to make sure that it's all displayed very nicely. And another huge benefit about this is if you want to provide this feature to your members, you can do that as well. Uh, there's an advanced setting in your Brilliant Directory site where you can choose which text editors will have this Embedly functionality. So you just open up that advanced setting, check off whichever text editors you want to have the Embedly button in the toolbar, uh, and that's pretty much it. So uh, we can definitely see this being very useful, not only for the website admins when you're posting uh, blog articles, updates, news uh, to your community, but also to your members, especially if you're allowing them to publish content on your website. Yeah, and I, I know you have the advanced setting here. I'll just quickly go to it in the uh, the admin area. So where you want to go is setting, advanced setting. And again, using the uh, search keyword here, we'll just search for Embedly. And by default, these are all turned off. Um, again, with newer features like these, we don't automatically add them uh, onto the site. The one for your blog post would be the bottom one here, the, the one that accesses the media manager images as well. So if you want at least the website owner who's publishing blog articles to the site to have this in the editor when they're logged in as a member trying to create a blog post, uh, at least check this bottom one off here. And the other three are editors that your members uh, would have access to, for example, when they're posting an event or their about me section uh, and things like that. If you're allowing them to share links, live links in the in those descriptions and sections, I don't see anything wrong with giving them the ability to embed things like tweets and whatever embed other things Embedly offers. But if you just want to start it out and test it out yourself, uh, just check this bottom one off here and it'll auto be automatically uh, be on the site. Let's actually look at it together on the site before we get into more examples, and then uh, we can move on uh, with the use cases. So let's uh, edit a blog article here. Just edit this sample post here. Okay, uh, so we're in editing a blog article, and we can see here this kind of share icon here. We've actually done a three share in a, using a table, something from Flickr, something from Facebook, and something from CNN. Uh, right here, you'll have the embed, uh, the URL uh, to the embed uh, option here for Embedly. Awesome stuff. So first off here, we went ahead and split off into, I think, about six different categories, some of the more popular sources, or again, as Embedly calls them, providers for pieces of content that uh, we think you all might want to uh, utilize Embedly for on your site. So the first one here, social media, probably one of the most common use cases. You know, you can embed 
content from sources like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Tumblr. We also threw Yelp into this one. Even though Yelp's not a true social media platform, uh, we definitely see a lot of value here, especially with BD sites who have professional or business members. You can actually embed individual Yelp reviews onto your BD site. So, And again, you don't have to grab any embed code or anything like that. You just grab the URL for the piece of content you want to embed and paste it into the editor like Jason uh, just showed. And if you want to hop on over to the uh, webinar demo site as well, we went ahead and published some community articles uh, just showing off how these embeds look uh, on the front end of a website. Awesome. Okay, so community articles. Okay, great. So this would be uh, the social. All right, let's look at the view live post, and then we'll look at the editor form as well. So this is a community article. Uh, we can see the Yelp review here, tweet, fantastic, and more. And if we go to edit this one, let's go to edit this post. Okay, great. Yep, we can see, yeah, if you share a specific uh, review from Yelp, this is the kind of the card that it gives you. It's not just the individual review, but it says read more on Yelp, as well as the overall reviews for that business. Um, so again, it's not perfect, but it is something. I know a lot of website owners are looking for ways to show uh, reviews from other sources on their websites. This would be one way to get some reviews uh, from Yelp here. And then I see here you have uh, the Twitter as well. Very cool. And then also if you click on here, if you just give it a second after you add it, there is a delete option. So if you wanted to remove that from the post, uh, you could just click on, click on it and click on the remove button. It'll remove that embed delete element. Excellent. The next category here, news and media, probably Pretty uh, important if you're trying to provide real-time content or information to your community. So you have the basics, ABC, CBS, CNN, Fox, Routers. Uh, I believe New York Times is also on there, along with some other news sources. Wikipedia, where it'll take uh, just a, a quick screen grab or uh, the basic information, the first maybe paragraph or so of a Wikipedia article, as well as the image. It'll easily embed all of that for you automatically. You also have the more common ones like YouTube and Vimeo. And then also if uh, your community or you are doing something around live streaming, there's also a couple live stream options like Twitch as well as live stream. So we thought those might be some uh, useful use cases as well here. Now let's take a look at some of those here. We'll go back to your examples here. Uh, so news and media, let's look at the view live post and really Similar to what I was testing before, it really can grab content from any web page. And this is really cool because if you're writing an article on a topic and you kind of want to beef up uh, your article and you can reference other sources that are talking about similar topics, um, you're providing more value to the user by you know, quickly linking to these, uh, these sources. And what's nice is it's not just the link, it grabs a photo, the title, a snippet, uh, and of course, the link where you can uh, click to read more. And if all these links that we've tested so far, it does open them in a new tab. So it won't take the person out of your website. It'll open the link in a new uh, tab. Let's go ahead and edit this post. And again, like I, I've seen, um, okay, let's even share the article, this own article as an embed. Let's uh, kind of play around with this a bit. Let's embed the web page of this article itself. Let's see if it grabs anything. Oh, there we go. Webinar demo site. Uh, it didn't grab a social image, but it did get the title, Embedly News and Media. So really, you can share any web page, specifically News and Media in this example, but uh, almost any web page, um, and it'll grab it. And what's really cool also, I just want to let's delete this one real quick. Uh, another tip for designing these is you can put them in tables. So maybe you want to, to create a table, and in one cell you have a tweet or the web page, and on the on the left cell you can say something, you know, like check out what we found on. You know, you can comment on what you're sharing in another table cell. Obviously, I'm doing this pretty quick, but uh, you can style this up a bit and kind of design 
uh, your Embedly share and support it with uh, some content on the left or right, uh, or however you're styling uh, your pages. Uh, so very good, very good here. Yeah, you know, that, is, that is an important point. You can use Embedly to embed really any web page. It'll grab uh, pretty much the information that would be shared on social media. So the social share image, as well as, you know, the first string of text or, or so that's on the page. And then as we move on to some of the more other use cases here, you'll see that some of these uh, websites that actually have integrations with Embedly, uh, they start to become much more interactive, the embeds themselves. So like uh, this one that uh, that we'll be showing here, music, playlists, and podcasts, a lot of options, obviously a great source of content to share with your community. But some of the more popular providers with Embedly within this category, Spotify, Last.fm, SoundCloud, MixCloud, Simplecast, NPR, again, if you want to share some current events or news, uh, and uh, many, many other options. But these ones uh, might be some of the more popular ones. And this one kind of blew my mind. We, we did share like a Spotify playlist, and it worked. It played all the songs. Um, I think it asked you to log in to Spotify to play the full versions or things like that. But the ones that are podcast related, it'll play the full podcast. Uh, but let's take a look at the examples you've set up for us, David. Again, kind of the biggest selling point here with Embedly is that with these embeds, especially these more interactive ones, you don't actually have to get the embed code for any of this. You just grab the URL uh, for the piece of content paste it into the editor, and it'll automatically create the embed for you. Yeah, let's also see if it'll pick up some of this music here. I don't know if you can hear that, but there it was. I could hear it here. I'm getting like a login to Spotify. Uh, but here's the SoundCloud one. It'll play, it'll get the whole card, and you can play it. Um, super awesome. Again, this is a great way to beef up um, your articles. Uh, get people to scroll longer. Scrolling is good for SEO. So some of these cards, they call these cards, uh, share cards, embed cards. Um, they're pretty tall in height. And again, they don't have to be this tall. Um, you can put them in the table and it'll compact it a bit based on the available space in the table cell. And let's look at the edit for this one. It just keeps going through the same format here. All right. And we see here the Spotify playlist here. What a cool way to kind of put content right on your site. I know that when BD started and we still have like a dedicated SoundCloud post type, but with these embed options now, it kind of makes it a bit obsolete to have just a SoundCloud uh, post type because you can really create any post type and encourage people to post any type of, of content there. It's a little convenient, but not everyone uses SoundCloud. So this really unlocks the door to uh, create different types of post types for your podcast, uh, it's for your PDF magazines, we'll get into that in just a bit, uh, and image galleries and slideshows as well. Yeah, all of these upcoming use cases are, are much more exciting as they're all pretty interactive. So right here, forms and polls, again, huge use case here, especially if you're utilizing some services like Typeform or Jotform. You can also use Paperform, Strawpoll, PollDaddy, Pulsify. Uh, there's uh, a lot here, but on the uh, the demo here that we'll show, uh, we've got a uh, Typeform form embedded within the post. You know, more recently, we, uh, we released the ability to embed widgets into blog posts. So you can use the widget short code to paste any custom code into, into your blogs and things like that. I think this makes it even a bit easier if you're using one of their supported solutions like Typeform or Jotform uh, to put things like forms and, and surveys into the blogs. Uh, so let's take a look at your example here, David. So here is the Embedly uh, Forms and Polls example. Okay, so this is a Typeform example, and they do it really cool. They always have like a Get Started button right here in an in a article post. Uh, we've put uh, this, this survey, I guess, uh, from Typeform. This is why I love Typeform. Like, based on, can really create super cool forms with conditional fields. Uh, so we have a form here, super awesome. Let's take a look at how you've added this. We'll go to Edit Post. And there it is right there, just like what we would see on the front end. You can even take the poll yourself while you're editing your post. And of course, if you ever wanted to delete it or start over, just click on the kind of the outside edges. There's some padding here, and then you click the remove button if you wanted to do so. Super cool. I love this, David. I love this, what you can do here. 
Yeah, and moving on here, photos and galleries. This really goes beyond just uh, simple photos. You know, you could share individual photos directly on a web page or within a post, or you can embed individual uh, photos. You know, things that might be shared on Instagram or Flickr, but you can really get much more interactive with uh, services like SlideShare, which uh, which allow you to embed actual presentations. But of course, some other popular options, Flickr, Behance, Dribbble, uh, Giphy, Imgur, there's a, a lot of options here, especially within this category. Giphy and Imgur we threw in just because, you know, if you want to uh, utilize some animated images or things like that, you don't necessarily want to upload them to your website. Embedly would be uh, a new option that you have available to add those animations into your web pages or blog posts. Let's take a look at a few examples uh, here. Uh, I'm excited for uh, the SlideShare one, actually. I'll, I'll show you why in a second here. I think we use that as an example. Yeah, so with SlideShare, any, any uh, PowerPoint presentation can be turned into a SlideShare. Um, a gallery of images can be turned into a SlideShare. Uh, so if you have like infographics or a series of uh, PowerPoint slides that are Kind of informational you can put them right into your blog post and i love this uh, that you can just keep clicking to the next slides great for the user and again another way to add rich content uh, supportive content to what you're already writing about you might pick up someone else's slide share on um, someone who's referencing or talking about a similar topic that your article is about so again with just a few clicks you get the slide share link and you pop it into the Embedly, uh, the editor using Embedly. Let's take a look at that uh, together here, edit post. And what I like about this SlideShare one, it really can't take you anywhere else. Like the Twitter ones and things like that, they'll, they'll take you to like Wikipedia, take you to Wikipedia app to read more. Uh, but this one is you can just make it full screen um, or you, there's even a share button here. I think here's the link. Let's uh, see how we can share this again in the article. Here it is right here. Just go here. And let's actually do this one in a table as an example. This would be nice in a table. On the right-hand side, we'll do the uh, slide share. And then we can, uh, we can do some commentary on this. In fact, let's uh, align this top. And we'll just do a quick commentary here. Uh, read our infographic. Give this uh, title. This is what I was talking about. It's a little finicky sometimes. Let's go ahead and save it. I think it just got uh, a little messed up there. But yeah, we'll we'll probably as as more people use this, uh, we'll probably get some support inquiries uh, to make it a bit better. Yeah, I was just on the editor there. But we can see read our infographic. We could add a paragraph here about what's being shown here, and this doesn't have to take up the full width of the article. Uh, it can just take up a smaller snippet here. Uh, so just some things to keep in mind with the with the user design with the design of this as you're uh, using the embedly tool and the last category we've put together here magazines documents and pdfs especially useful if you're trying to really turn your website into an information hub or resource hub for your community so some of the more popular sources and providers here scribed apple keynote that works through icloud uh, GitHub, prezi Document Cloud, Canva. I know a lot of people are familiar with uh, Prezi and Canva here, but again, lots of other options. And uh, we've got a really cool demo here for this one through Scribed. All right, let's check it out. I wasn't too familiar with, with some of those, uh, but let's, uh, let's see what we've created here. So magazine documents and PDF. So uh, let us know what we're looking at here, David. It says Scribed here. Oh, wow. So this is just a, a document that was on Scribed. And you can see through the Scribed uh, integration with Embedly, it really allows you to embed the uh, the entire document. So you, know, you can provide documents. Mag There's also a lot of magazines on, on Scribed in this specific example. But you can provide these documents to your members uh, in full right on your website. You don't have to upload the documents to your site. And your members don't have to leave your website to actually view the content. Super cool. It's like the entire PDF file or whatever version of that is being printed in right here without having to leave the site, just like you're, just like you're saying. Uh, so this is a 90 pages right here, uh, just on one single article. So yeah, this is kind of like the slide share, but instead of going from slide to slide, you're just, you get to scroll down all the way. Super fast too, by the way, that, that it loaded. I guess they've kind of taken care of some of that stuff. 
Um, and then, oh, you can see the full screen version here. That took us away from the site, but, oh, it opened a new tab though. I guess that's how they do the full screen. Oh, it, oh, because it's a PDF. So it's opening the PDF uh, right here. Got it. Very cool. Super awesome, David. And yeah, I mean, there's tons of use cases uh, for the Embedly. And again, it's going to allow you to more easily embed. We've created workarounds in the past to whitelist uh, sources that can be embedded on your site. But uh, this can be, because this, this can make things a lot more rapid. And I think what we have also is a link to the providers. So if you wanted to see what is supported right here, and they're always adding to it, and also the ones that they have, they're um, creating like more sharing options. Like the Yelp example, right now you can share an individual review. Um, however, I'm sure they'll, they might add more options uh, over time. There's nothing you need to do um, in your web page builder. Uh, in the admin, the Embedly toolbar will be there. If you want it in your blog post, uh, text editor or other editors. Let me just recap here. Uh, you want to go to your advanced settings and just search for Embedly. We'll do that together. And by default, they will all be unchecked. Uh, if you want, at least for your blog articles and such, just click the bottom one. That's the for the blog articles, the admin access. And if you want your members to have access uh, to the Embedly toolbar in the text editor when they're publishing events, coupons, articles, their about me section. Uh, then just click the, the corresponding editors they have access to.